Yeah, my name is David Shu, and I've been living in Los Angeles for about uh, 20, about 20 years now. Grew up in Orange County. So my first impression of Stephanos, um, uh, you know, again, I, I didn't know much. Saw, you know, a man, you know, pretty big in stature. Um, had, you know, this, this face, this almost unforgettable face, very rugged, um, thick accent. I mean, he was, he was never a person that would, you know, kind of talk about his, his accolades and, and, um, his fighting ability. So to me, it was, I, I learned about Stephanos, but not through Stephanos himself. It was actually through other friends. Um, one of my friends who was uh, pretty big in the um, MMA community, he was a black belt in jiu-jitsu under Keegan Machado, and we were, talking, we were talking about Stephanos, and he told me that basically, <laughs> if you're ever in a street fight, that's the guy you want standing next to you. How I found out about his Hollywood career was nothing that he ever brought up it was uh something one of my friends brought up and he said you realize that stephanos has been in like 50 has about 50 different credits to his name and i was like really like again it's something he never really spoke about and then kind of talked to him about it and he mentioned some of the stuff he was doing um especially with uh jean-claude van damme and sure enough you know, growing up, I was a huge Jean-Claude Van Damme fan and um, got got a chance to replay some of his old movies. And I was like, dang, that is Stephanos. <laughs> I always tell people Stephanos is kind of like a superhero to me. Um, he's one of those guys that was, you know, larger than life. And when I see superhero movies or or movies about... Uh, any any uh, Liam Neeson movie, it's believable to me because I know there was a guy named Stephanos and he was basically that guy that Liam Neeson always would portray in most of his movies. So my, my initial impressions of the gym was you walk in, it's, it's in a um, you know building in Venice, kind of like a loft style building and there's no sign outside. There's no <laughs> nothing indicating that there's a gym or any type of business. Just the big uh, steel door, and I get to the I get to the address, which I think is the right address, but I can't tell because there's no sign. He opens the door, and I'm uh, I'm looking at a place that doesn't look like your typical gym. There's not a lot as far as equipment or um, or and, or anything really. I mean, the, the the thing that stood out most was probably the boxing ring. I went down there, went went in for a training session, and kind of kind of fell in love with his methods and his training, and kind of uh, reinvented my life uh, back then. He was able to get me into really good shape. Lost about 40 pounds in a period of maybe two months. Um, but really, really, uh, that's when I really, really got to know Stephanos as a person outside of uh, just kind of like the social scenes. If, if there was a word I could use to describe Stephanos, it would have to be badass. <laughs> you want to know a person who's, who, who, who could actually have that, uh, that moniker, that name, it, it would have to be Stephanos. I mean, some of the things he, he's done that I've seen or, or I've heard stories about, it, it's just like, wow. <laughs> um, uh, the mere mortal man would not have been able to survive that or or, or get through that. I mean, um, I remember 
couple days after he had the stroke and after he had surgery, I went to the UCLA hospital to visit him and I saw him probably in the most, um, you know, vulnerable state I've, I've ever seen him. His uh, shirt was off and he was hooked up to um, the IVs and oxygen and he just had major surgery. I walked in and wasn't, you know, trying to wake him up or or, or do anything and but just at that moment he, he opened up his eyes and, and, he, and he looked at me and looked at him and exchanged a few words I think I remember he told me that you know surgery went well gave me the thumbs up sign and I said I said wow you know just you know get some rest you know we, we, we all just want to see you get better and and in that moment all I could think of was that movie Wolverine where you see Hugh Jackman going through that major surgery where where um, they converted him into Wolverine and I was just kind of thinking the same thing about Stephanos that okay now they fixed him and he's gonna be back stronger than ever It's uh, so, so going back, it's kind of like, even like right now, I feel like kind of lost, just like, just, just me, you know, I don't think I've been um, really fulfilling myself, you know, personally. Um, and, you know, not, not just having him here anymore. It's, and, and having like, you know, that extra voice, it's it, it's been tough personally and um, you know I know I know we'll get back to it but it's you know it's still been kind of taking a toll on me I think my last conversation with Stephanos it was um, right before the Christmas holidays and I didn't really get a chance to say goodbye to him I, I went on vacation and you know, by the time I got back, it was um, it was uh, almost right. You know, kind of within that week when when everything happened, and and so I didn't get a final chance to tell him goodbye or that I loved him and that um, that uh, you know I I think he knows, but. You know the, the way he affected my life and 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 changed me for the better and i just wanted to thank him and, and tell him i love him and and goodbye